Hello. I'm not sure if I'm live or not. Okay, I think I am. <laughs> Hello, um, my name's Daisy Egg Jones. Uh, I'll probably just wait for a few more people to come. Um, and I think Paul might be joining me. Hi. <laughs> oh God, I just knocked my water over. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I went as fast as I could. I know. It's the, it's the bits where you don't know if you're live or not, and you're just sort of staring Painful. into the screen. Like... <laughs> Hello, yeah. Paul. How are you? Hello. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, we just wanted to come on and, and say hello, really. And thank you so much for all your continued support and kindness over the last few weeks and months, actually. It's been a, a kind of crazy, crazy time for us, hasn't it? Yeah, no, like... I think for both me and Daisy, it has been like the most crazily supportive time at a time that is like it has been difficult for everybody. And um, the fact that we're still getting to talk about the show with people who love the show, like what is it, three, two, three months after it? Yeah. How it is like a mad privilege that we get um, to, to talk about. And we just wanted to surprise people and say a little thank you. Um, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my okay. hair is a disaster I'm sorry for I was going to say um that like it's really nice you've got a different background um this is it's very exciting but, yeah I need to on. give some context it's my brother's 21st so I'm in my neighbor's house oh, <laughs> oh who's who's away so um yeah happy birthday to yeah. Danica <laughs> happy yeah. birthday yeah I've still got this uh this You've thing. still got your 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 famous. I'll corner. do a reveal. It's actually a wardrobe. Um, so the there's... Oh, this is this is this is live history. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah. It's like um yeah. I've I've been I sat in this wee corner for a while. Yeah. It's been strange. How are you, Daisy? Yes, not bad, thank you. How are you? <laughs> well, very sunburnt, as you can see. Look yes. at Like, look how bad that is. Oh gosh. Yeah, not you've good. Got, you've got a chain mark. <laughs> yeah, it's a chain mark, just a straight line. <laughs> you don't need to wear it anymore. It'll just be like <laughs> a chain yeah. imprint on your neck. Um, yeah, I was gonna. I guess we could just ask each other some questions and yeah. then maybe answer some questions. Um, um, yeah, that you have if you have any. Um, yeah. So I've got one for you. Shall I go? Yes. Go <laughs> I was just gonna ask you. It's very random, but um, what is your favorite food? Because <laughs> I don't actually know. My favorite, actually. It's, I'm going to go with the context of this week. So this week I've had, I was down in Kerry and have very nice seafood. So I was eating like hake and salmon and like, I wouldn't be the biggest seafood kind of guy and mussels. I had mussels in this like white wine sauce that was delicious. Very, I highly recommend it. Um, <laughs> what about you? What's your favorite food? I guess I'll go off at the minute. I, I had, um, I had, um, is it? cauliflower cheese um oh yes a few weeks back and i'd never been like i'd never been sort of interested in it and i was like oh i'll have a bit and it, it has changed my life i've been thinking about it quite a lot <laughs> it was really cauliflower nice. cheese <laughs> cheddar cheddar i take it yes yeah just i don't know what the cheese was it i didn't make it, it but matter. it was it was just <laughs> it was very exciting <laughs> sorry that is the I... most banal question ever but i was like <laughs> I just thought it was like I'm just curious because I actually don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good to see, like it. I'm. It's so weird not getting to spend any time together at all, yeah. bar these kind of things. But it's good to yeah. see. Them, yeah, I know it's strange, isn't it? I mean, I'm like I haven't really had to wear any kind of fancy shoes or trousers for quite a while. So yeah. I'm very excited to be able to like rediscover my my top down wardrobe. But yeah, it's so lovely to see you and like yeah, yeah it, like we've just spent quite a lot of time as small boxes on screens for a while, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> Which is Absolutely. Strange. Yeah. I'm gonna go with a question for you. Um who what are you watching at the moment? Um I may destroy you. Oh, um, I need have you to seen watch it? that. I need to watch that. I've been it's, getting so many recommendations yeah, on it. Yeah, it's incredible. Like, it's incredible. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, just incredible. I mean, like, yeah. you, have, you have to watch it. It's brilliant. I, like, I'm hearing from, like, performances to writing to everything. It's just, performances like, Performances to writing, out of this world. to music, to the world, to, like, the way she uses camera, to just 
the editing like it's just like it's such an amazing piece of art like it's it's really brilliant yeah you'll love nice. that what are you watching i'm still doing the weird thing of like re-watching things i re-watched um because my brother hadn't seen Fleabag any of it so I rewatched. Oh, I know I know he, oh, needs to, so he needs to get in the bin for that but um, <laughs> we watched we watched uh, both series and um, also I got I, I watched the Michael Jordan documentary recently you know so That's good so good, so good. Scotty Pippen for the win oh, I know. <laughs> so yeah he's I know. so good um but yeah uh, it's funny, yeah. It's funny that you say about the rewatching. There's like some comf like some form like of comfort in it. Like, did you ever have? We started watching. Did you ever? Did you ever watch the show? I think it was called Fifty Fifty, where like, mm -hmm. so I think it's called Fifty Fifty, where like a group of like school kids, and like some like your class was picked to go on, and you'd have to do these activities, and one of them was like you had this like metal wire, and you had to like get the hoop across and it was like a big deal if you if you did it what, what is it a game show it's, it's game like show. a game show but for kids that like was the biggest thing when i was younger and i think it's called 50 50 and yeah so for some reason we rewatched some of those which is <laughs> That's, really that awful. is the height of quarantine behavior <laughs> that is like... <laughs> it's like it doesn't get higher that's like it gets to quarantine behavior and then it gets to watching 50 50 and it's that I is know. the ceiling I'm like soon i'll be watching the tweenies just like <laughs> weeping <Yeah. laughs> What was your favourite TV show as a, as a kid? I loved Winnie the Pooh. I had a soft spot for Eeyore. Oh, yeah, that oh, was my really? go-to. That was so my nice. go-to. Oh. Yeah. What about you? Oh, do you know, I, I blink and love oh SpongeBob. God. And like, still do into my adult life, actually. Um, I just think he's very funny. I just, I don't know why. I just, SpongeBob. just like the, the music that was like, chung, ch -ch -chung, ch -ch -chung. I never got da -da 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 -da. into it. I'm like, I, a uh, lot of my, actually, that's, it, it's something that sustains generations, spon uh, SpongeBob interest. It's like, <laughs> it, it doesn't just stop. It's like, I couldn't realistically go back and watch Winnie the Pooh. Maybe I could. And, uh, <laughs> but yeah, no. Um, what? Let, let's talk about the comic the relief thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. How yeah. fucking crazy was that? That was, yeah. I mean, that was strange because, like, it was the first time we'd, like, probably been able to kind of, like, see each other, even though it was a bit odd because you were, like, we were having to be socially distant and, like, having to do... I know, obviously, meeting Andrew Scott was, like, crazy. Or, like as a massive fan of his you know trying to trying to keep trying to keep the cool and yeah. then um also filming like filming a, a scene and like particularly one with like singing in it but having to do each shot completely independently yeah. because we couldn't be near each other and like just hoping to goodness that the harmonies were actually in tune when because I, like, like, <laughs> yeah. I, when I saw the edit i was like please god that these, these these harmonies exist first and foremost <laughs> but like yeah i, I don't know like it, i'd if I had said to you and we were shooting normal people that like, oh yeah, by the way, we're going to be doing this comic relief sketch directed by Lenny, shot by Susie, and we're going to throw in Andrew Scott. Andrew Scott as the hot priest. <laughs> as the hot priest. And we're going to be like acting with him. How crazy was it though? Like, because we obviously didn't, didn't get to act face to face, but the, like, I was like, fangirl, like listening to, especially like when it was onto your coverage and his scene with you. But listening to him deliver those, I know. I mean, like, he's just it's like, nuts. Yeah. It is nuts. I, I like, yeah. I think that I think I probably had a dream where that happened once, so I can't believe that <laughs> yeah, it yeah. did actually happen. Like it was unbelievable. Just so he's so talented. He is so talented, and, and such a, one such of a the nice good person. guys. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, like he's just one of the like really, really good guys. Yeah. yeah. I have a question. Um, Go for it. <laughs> Well, because, you know, because obviously for for us, like, music was such an important part of um, normal people. And we had, like, like playlists that we made and, like, we found Sally's playlist from when she wrote the book. And we were, like, obsessively listening to them and also to the songs on them. And, and also, like, having boogies in the like, trailer before yeah. we started listening to Teardrops by, like... Oh, way back, way back. Um, like what have you got like a favorite song at the minute like anything that's like you just are really loving um I suppose like this isn't this is not 
me plugging something, but I've been going back and I, I love Dermot Kennedy, but I've been going back and listening to his music because of the gig that we're doing together on the 30th. That's so exciting. So fun, so exciting. Oh but it's been like, it's lovely to go back to something that I loved at, at, a, at a time and then be like, oh yeah, I get to be involved in, in some sense. So I've been doing a lot of kind of listening to that and kind of trying to figure out what I'm going to be doing in context to that. And what's lovely about it is that it feels, um, I don't know, like because a lot of the work that we're going to get to do at the moment, at the moment generally is like, we're not going to get to be involved in long shoots. So this is something that I feel is going to be somewhat create, definitely creative. Mm. And yes, yeah, so I've been listening to his songs a lot again. And um, it's nice to be like listening to his songs. Like you have to listen to them for work. Like that's yeah, quite, yeah, like, yeah. an amazing <laughs> yeah. job to be like, I get to listen to my favorite artist like that. So that it's is amazing. Silly. Yeah. yeah. It's, um, what about you? What are you listening to? Well, you know, when you have one of those, like I had one of those weeks where basically everything that I got suggested on Spotify on like uh, recommended for like was top class. So I was like, oh, I've oh, got like loads of new Discover stuff. Discover so, like, Weekly is the best. It's the best. It's it like, is the God, it's God's gift to every Spotify user. Yeah, it really is. And like, mm. I, so there's a song called Confirmation by Westerman. And it's oh, just got like, that, please. it's a really good chorus. And so it's like, I've been like listening to that. And there's a few others, I think Bees by Caribou. Car Caribou? Anyway, that's Caribou, been, like, yeah. quite good. So yeah, it's just nice when you get like a good run of stuff, like in... Mm -hmm you get introduced to lots of new music and stuff so yeah I've got a new playlist which is great <laughs> sweet playlists for I think I've made about 97 playlists mm. <laughs> during lockdown <laughs> have you got like you know how some this is a really tricky question and you probably don't but have you got like because you know how people name their playlists kind of strange things yeah what's like the strangest name of one of your playlists <laughs> um, probably like Lockdown sad one, lockdown sad two, <laughs> lockdown, lockdown might be ending, so it's slightly happy playlist. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, but you know me, like it's generally sad music is just my, sad thing. Just, just sad, just like sad Men instrumental Kelly. music. <laughs> yeah. uh, how is London? How's everything over there? Yeah, grand. I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of, we've, sort of had a kind of slight lightening up of certain things so um pubs and restaurants are open now and um but you, you obviously still have to be socially distant and things but it's kind mm -hmm. of you know I guess it's funny because like you know I've been I've grown up in London my whole life and I'm so used to seeing the streets be full of people and everyone seems to be like rushing around and I've always kind of felt in London quite anonymous if you know what I mean I think mm -hmm. you can do but I think this experience has made me sort of hi hyper aware of like how many people live on my street and how like how wonderful yeah. it is to see people you know at the pubs and you know obviously as long as they're being safe it's just like it's been really lovely to be like oh like you know people yeah. being with each other and I guess that's something I'm I've you know been enjoying being able to see my family a bit more and my friends and stuff like that mm -hmm. yeah it's mad though isn't it that this time what, what month is it now it's July mm -hmm. this time last year we were like halfway I through know. the shoot what this would have been the end of doing? block one this would have been roughly the end of actually oh because i have my i have a file of facts where i write everything <laughs> at, at hand here it is um, that is I the actually... most that is literally the most easy thing that is possibly actually, going to have happened. exactly what we were doing yeah. this time last year because i have it written down <laughs> oh will you please tell me actually what we were doing this time last no year. i actually it's exactly, in your old file of facts this is 2020 um, so actually what's in the diary is <laughs> pretty much nothing <laughs> Lockdown um, day 772. Yeah. I just walked up the stairs and I made a cup of tea. <laughs> Scheduled in today, wash my wash my pants. Like, do you know crochet. I mean? We are going to crochet today <laughs> and try to cry as little as possible. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I think this time last year, I mean, because we started just, just, so we would have been nearly at End oh, of block no, one, I think. Yeah, end of block one onto so yeah, doing end of block early one, block two probably stuff. maybe having our rap drinks <laughs> and then having to go in and rehearse the next day. <laughs> Paul and I were so funny because we'd work. Obviously, it was like we'd we'd been in you know working really hard on it and having like the best time. But we you know we'd been doing a lot of split days and six day weeks. And split days is when you kind of start 
in the middle of the day and finish at midnight so that you get half day half night so it was like we you know we were knackered and we had like we the rap party but we actually ran over so it was like three days into our supposed week off you know before we started block two and we <laughs> anyway we had to go in for rehearsals at like eight in the morning the day after so we were at the rap party like i think i think it wasn't eight was it it couldn't have been no, eight. it I felt it like eight snappy. i think it was probably no, but like I, half five it was <laughs> half five in the morning <laughs> oh have i oh no 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 we're back we're back we're back i'm back are you back i'm i yeah Am you I know here? you know me with my um with my oh, heck and that, signal that uh, mario kart fiasco <laughs> uh, the famous the infamous day that daisy was blaming me for my wi-fi signal <laughs> <laughs> oh sweet oh, that's so mother funny. of god well yeah, yeah i mean i guess we could open it up and see if the, anyone has any questions or anything and yeah, yeah. so yeah <laughs> somebody please ask a question <laughs> you are back oh i'm back oh I'm we're back, back. Thank, you. thank you thank you <laughs> i was about to look over my shoulder maybe we could just do all the emojis that come up or oh, i don't yeah. know how to do the hearts oh <laughs> that's the crime <laughs> <laughs> we'll start doing that somebody Hello. ask a question <laughs> oh god i don't know how to do the haha -ha one <laughs> oh. <laughs> we rock daisy thanks <laughs> great okay well if no one asks any questions i guess i can ask another one yes um well no people oh. are asking there just about season two there is no we can categorically say that there is no, there has been no talk about it to us um, as much as I, and I think we can speak. I can speak on your behalf as well that we would love to play them, but I I just don't think at the moment potentially it would be the the best time. And I also think that we should allow them get a little bit older, see mm. what happens to their lives, and then um, yeah, yeah. I saw a, a question that was, um, what was your favorite song from the, the show? Because obviously when we filmed it, we, we didn't know what the songs would be like. So that was a really cool mm -hmm. thing to kind of see what they'd done. And obviously Stephen Rennix, who did the score, did like the most beautiful oh, job. Oh, crazy. Yeah. What was your favorite song? What's the song at the end of episode 11 when like... Oh, it's I love that, that one, Strange Weather. Strange weather. Strange weather. Yeah. It's so nice. It is I, so oh lovely. God. I think that's it's David Byrne, is it? Yeah, from the it's Talking Heads. It's so gorgeous. And I also love the Orla Gartland song when oh. that um Oh that's a great one. Come out of the house. What's that? Um Oh, oh did, yes. Oh did, no, 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 no. no you'll get we'll get it. We will get yeah, it. Yeah, that's um, which one. If anybody um don't Oh, it's gone. But the Orla Garten song at the start of episode He's two with the hard cut into you, like knocking at the door. Yeah, that's a great one. Yeah. Oh, London Grammar, someone said, yeah, I was, I yeah, was dancing to that throughout. I actually, it's really, it's really funny. Did it, somebody that... said, did it to myself, Orla Garten. Thank you very much. Oh, that's the one. So, yeah, did it to myself. So that's the one. Um, did it um, to it's funny with the London Grammar song. It's Hey Now, isn't it? Um, for so that scene at the Debs fundraiser, I actually had um, I had a d dance coach for two days, and I loved this. That was so funny. I w so I wish we had done a take of you doing that though. It was like do 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 do. <laughs> I'm gonna whip it out whenever we're. Like, there is we'll actually footage of clubbing. that somewhere, isn't there? there it was oh, such a like good it's... dance. It was so good, and then but I it would have been totally incongruous to the show. Imagine you doing a full on like <laughs> dance routine in the middle of that F F three. Yeah, I think it was at three, wasn't it? Yeah, it was funny. It's funny. The worst, I think, one of the worst things watching back is watching w what you look like dancing. Mm -hmm. Not you personally, Paul. You, you're a great dancer, but like... I just I stood there and looked this. at you like this. This is what I had to do. I had to do this. You like really know. seriously look at you. And that's staring at me. And I'm like, yeah, staring at you being real creepy. <laughs> <laughs> just and we actually had to like, dance what? in slow motion. <laughs> oh my God, imagine, yeah. <laughs> Um, I saw somebody um, ask a question there. What is your favourite thing about Marianne? Oh, um, gosh, that's quite hard. I think um, I think I just love how intelligent Marianne is. Like mm -hmm. she's so she's so intelligent and and has such a kind of 
clear, concise way of viewing the world and talking about it. And I just think, yeah, it's so refreshing. And I just love how complicated she is, particularly as a female character. You know, it's really totally. fun to have that and someone who's dark and flawed and interesting. What's your favorite um, part of Connell? Pro, like kind of similar to that. It's just like playing somebody who doesn't feel like they wouldn't fit into the world that we live in now. Do you know, he's, he's like somebody who you would like be rubbing shoulders with if you were like walking around town. Mm. And I feel like it's it's really nice to represent. And I feel like Connell and Marianne both do that. I feel like it's really nice to represent people that we know rather mm -hmm. than these fic these highly fictionalized characters that don't really resonate with us. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, like. I, it's a real and um, without sounding like wanky or, or like it's really it's a real privilege to get to do that I think mm, definitely yeah I'm trying to think of some more questions yeah. mm -mm 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 -mm. but first thing you're gonna do after lockdown Daisy um oh we're gonna meet for pints yeah but I think that's the one isn't it where they go have a few and just like go like you know yeah. <laughs> just this <sighs> and then leave <laughs> and then leave but don't you see and then leave that, not drink fights <laughs> just this <sighs> and then turn on our heel and disappear <laughs> <laughs> it's so bizarre that we're doing this in front of people i know i, I, I always get lulled into the like i know fact that it's like <laughs> I know, it, is odd. it is odd did you feel yourselves mature along with the characters as you filmed that's a good one I feel like I probably matured after the fact mm. I think I was just permanently tired shooting it, <laughs> which is normal but like I feel after it I think and look I could be wrong I could have like dematured if that's a thing but I don't know <laughs> who knows I feel like I don't know I feel like shooting something where there is that sense of responsibility does mm. you either step into it or you don't and I think mm. we we did um it's uh yeah. I sounded so Irish there I was like we did <laughs> we did step into that <laughs> um yeah I mean it's funny because like I think it's true what you said about Hein sort of after the fact of knowing that you have because because obviously we had to film um we had to refilm the last um, scene a week before lockdown. And obviously mm -hmm. we were nearly a year older from when we started the show. And so it was funny going back to those characters and being like, gosh, like, you know, it's, it's funny that we were saying things like, you know, two people can really change each other and whatnot. And that whole experience had, you know, has changed me. And, and so it was quite funny kind of, yeah, that, that experience. Yeah, was no, totally, mm -hmm. totally. I saw a question there. Will you do more theatre days? Oh, I'd love to. I'd love to. Yeah, I mean, I think I actually, that's another thing. So obviously I didn't go to drama school. Um, and so I did Albion um, at the Almeida just before we did the pickups of normal people. And so it was again, interesting being like, God, I've learned so much just from this month of exercising a muscle I'd never exercised, you know, mm -hmm. and, and doing a sort of show like that. But also I like worked with a really amazing actor called Victoria Hamilton, who's like, She's everyone amazing. needs to see <laughs> perform because she's just a powerhouse and that was like yeah amazing to watch her and learn from her and yeah she's incredible what about you would you like to do loads more obviously you've done yeah definitely loads. I'd hopefully hopefully next year I'll, I'll, I'll be doing something but yeah again, it's hard to, I loved hard I to loved start. watching you in Inishmore like I wish I'd seen you but our plays around amazing in that like because it was Thank such you. a different character as well and like you were proper Who's like you were probably not crazy. Like, yeah, like just like so good yeah. at it. It was like it's yeah. like me and Pig at like one AM. <laughs> that, was, oh that, God, yeah. that was my that was my character read for for it. <laughs> was that um, yeah, that's how you um prepped for it. You just had yeah. <laughs> that was it. Just think of that. <laughs> um we'll do I'm gonna ask you one more question and then we'll wrap it up, I think is the best bet. I'll wait for a really good one. <laughs> oh, I, the... I thought I thought someone said what what's happening with your shorts for <laughs> <laughs> they're being framed 
Alright, hold on. We'll get one, Daisy. I'm back. <laughs> funniest moment on set, maybe. Daisy, funniest moment on set. Oh, you just <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh gosh, no, I can't think of it. I think for me, right. the, one of the funniest was when we had to walk across, walk across the um, the hall towards each other, because oh, like, yeah. n like obviously, like now we don't have much of an embarrassment threshold, but I still had some some of one at the time, and we had to do this scene where like it's actually a very small moment where they pass in, in the corridor, and obviously they're having a secret kind of relationship, so they give each other a little look, but at the time of filming it, like. I could see Paul from the end of the corridor with a load of car with a camera like behind this. him, just staring at him. <laughs> Walking towards you, like trying not to laugh. I, I was probably this red. Def look at this. Look, look how red I am when I do this. That's pathetic. I need to discover sun cream. That is a funny. That is that. I think that was the just one. Just because we got you were like, because it. then we had to like pretend to see each other and be like. <laughs> <laughs> like like yeah, be real coy. And like also if you ever think about walking it's like walking Easy. is the strangest thing it's like if you ever overthink something you're like what do i do when what i do walk I do? is it right arm left foot or is it do right I, arm? yeah it's, it, it's definitely like... right arm right leg and then you're, then you're like, do i have idiot. like a weird bounce to it what no, no, it's so funny. <laughs> what about you yeah. what was your funniest i think one of the funniest moments for me was the cycling <laughs> I found that very funny. I found that very, very funny. Because the whole, the whole, the whole point, the whole point of a Daisy was that we were like having fun. We were supposed to be like, oh, is it a lovely recycling through, recycling through like the countryside in Italy? And I would do something like, oh, I'll take my hands off the wheel. And Daisy would be like, ha, Paul, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> but also stop, you're gonna fall like, off your bike <laughs> but also because like i have like very odd feet and they like go like that they, they like point out like this <laughs> you're like cycling <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can see it you can see it when you watch it like my feet are like and my neck is perfectly straight it's so weird it's uh, very funny oh that's funny it's that was actually funny. the last shot that we filmed um of the whole like meat of the yeah. shoot before we did the pickups obviously so it was so funny as soon as they yelled cut we were all just like on this hill just like crying <laughs> like you Balling. that's another funny moment actually that's a fun yeah you can say that it's outside when we of went filming, on like though. we went on and like um we had a kind of rapish this party. i can't believe this is being told actually this <laughs> okay. is, this is a, no tell okay. it's funny. we'll just we went to this like we went out with all the crew and the cast and stuff at a club in italy and <laughs> Paul, Paul lost his phone and like I never like, lose anything by the way no, like, and like spent the, the whole night basically searching for this phone and India was like an inc like who plays Peggy was amazing she located it and I've never been so moved by a scene when Paul was reunited with his phone like a lot, <laughs> because he yeah. genuinely was in the street like this <laughs> like this in the thing. middle of Rome I was hammered though to be fair Honestly, I was like, I've never state. seen like you actually you actually pinched the, the bridge of your nose I was like full up but the thing your, was, like, I wasn't amazing. actually crying I wasn't like you there was no pretend, tears coming out I, I was like it was it was so messed up I was like full on like <laughs> thank you <laughs> yeah. oh so dramatic oh yeah. it's very funny oh yeah. well um yeah I mean we should probably wrap yeah. it up yeah but um but thanks for yeah watching and thank you so much yeah. for being continually so kind and um lovely about the show like it's been an amazing thing to see and yeah, yeah we really really appreciate